Hey, this is Brendan Cuccinello from BassInUSA.com. I got Nunzio Prado with me, also from Bass in USA. We're out uh, December 29th. <laughs> it's uh, air temps about 35 degrees out this morning. We just hit the ramp. We're uh, fishing a lake up in Connecticut. Um, the water surface temp right now is 37 degrees. And uh, we're going out today, we're looking for smallmouth bass that are pulled into their wintering holes. Doesn't like being able to tie a knot with gloves. Yeah, these little Under Armour gloves are fantastic. We got the grip, the grip on the inside of the glove like that. Right on the inside of the palm, so you can really hold on to the rod. They're ultra thin, so you can actually fish these with a bait caster, and I've even used them with spinning rods. Keeps your whole hand covered. Excuse me. Fish on. Fish on. Excellent. Excellent. Get him again. Get him again. She's gonna jump, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh, nice fish, buddy. Nice fish. Nice smally. Nice smally. Oh baby. Oh. My first December smally, and it's a beauty. You gonna bring her up? Yep. See if you swing her. <laughs> nice. Beautiful fish. That's it. That's what we came out here for. Watch out, Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the background. Nice. We'll put that one on the scale in a second here. Hold that fish for a minute. Okay. This is the new, uh, the new Rapala. <laughs> try this thing out for the first time, figure we'd do it, so. Not that this is a real big fish or anything, but we just want to try the scale out, so. Get a beat on how big this fish might be. It's only, uh, 2.882. Wow. Okay. It's almost three pounds. So you got, I don't know if you can see that with the glare. Oh, two Grab her. 2.82. 2.82, it's, it's almost actually, three. It's, it's almost just three. under three. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that in number one. Okay. And this is a touch screen scale. These things are really cool actually. We we've got the um, the ability to put this into eight banks. You could store up to eight fish on this scale. And you weigh them, it locks the weight in. If you don't like the weight, you hit an undo button, it undoes it, that's it. So we're just playing around today. We just want to throw the fish in the uh, Live well, just keep a track of uh, you know how many fish we get, what kind of weight we got, and so on. So nice fish for a start. Another one. Another fish on the back. Another fish on. Another fish on. Parallel to the wall. Parallel to the wall. Beautiful. There's another good one, man. Get a hook in the bed. Yeah, I did three times. Nice. Oh go. boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. There's a good one. Now we're talking tank time. Tank Abbott. Holy mackerel, brother. This is a big fish. Bring it right here to the net. Right here to the net. Right, lift her up. Nice. That there you fish, go. Man. Now there's a small one. Don't get me this. Now we're talking. Come here. Oh my gosh, Ben. Here you go. That's a bruiser. Oh, is that a bruiser? I can't even get a cast in. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Put, put that on the back deck if you got it for a second. Look at this guy's face. Talk about pumped up. You pumped up? <laughs> yeah. We'll put you on the big small leash. Oh, that. <laughs> this is what I came for. Whole ride up is all we was talking about. I just want to get a big, big smallie. I haven't caught a big, big smallie in such a long, long time. I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen you catch. <laughs> oh. Except for those big monsters at Lake Erie. Yeah. This, this is a nice one. Let me back up for a second. Put that net down. Okay, why don't you step up front? We're gonna get a weight on it and everything. Come over this way a little bit. That's a smallie. Perfect. <laughs> this is what I came up for. Brendan promised me, no, well, almost promised me, we never make promises. He said, 
We're gonna try to get the big boys. Now this is a really, really nice fish. This is caught on the 3.8 again. Come down here for a minute, I'll show you something. We'll get the scale out if you come down here. Okay. And we're gonna get a weight on this fish. We're gonna get a weight on the fish? It's a nice. And I'm also gonna be annoying you to get a snapshot of her too on my camera. All right. Let's get this scale going and see how big this one is. So it took us all of another five minutes and... Uh... Yeah, that was literally the next cast after we stopped filming for a second. Let's get this one on the scale here. Okay, let her go. Oh, oh yeah. Easy, easy girl. Let's see, I got four. Hold on, just, just put your finger on her belly and she'll calm down. Let's see if I can get this on screen. Four, five. Uh, keep stopping on it. was over four now, it's sitting four nine two. Four one. Four one. Four one. That's what it settled on. Four one. So that's a good four pound. <coughs> Monster. <laughs> Bronzy. We're just getting warmed up. <laughs> Let's get this one back in the water. Not anymore. I'm like ready to reel in, grab the camera. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Got Trying to get the look. Come on, big girl. There we go. Here she comes. She's coming up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, get over here. That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> I got a jolly horse in my foot too. Like, right on the hook set. Oh. Now we're talking. Just want to get the Not a quality fish. High three. Very man. nice. High three, so. Yeah. Same bait, 3.8. Seems to be the uh the deal for today is slow rolling it, just it's a common thing, everybody's doing it. So anyway. Very nice. We'll get a weight on this 396. We'll call it 394. Nice fish. Good. Good job. Another Good job. almost another almost four pounder. So now the way the scale works is, see we got our weights recorded here. I just press number three right there in that box, and it's gonna put number 394 oh, up in the box number three. So we have our three weights now for the three nice. fish that we caught. Pretty cool scale. All right, let's get this one back in the water. Kitech swing impacts 3.8, that's what we're throwing on a football head jig. 15 pound fluorocarbon. What we're doing is we're, we're just fishing right now is a is a really just a long long point that drops off real hard on each side and we're fishing on the steep sides of the point throwing up on top and bringing it down the hill but the boat's sitting in almost 40 feet of water right here and we're probably casting into about i don't know maybe 27 28 feet Just working it down that to that base of that uh, point in there. There's good rock all along that edge. Just barely turning the reel. I'm using a 7.0 to 1 high speed uh, Shimano Corrado 201E7. And even though I'm using the high speed reel, you need the high speed reel because you, you really got to catch up to these smallies you know even though it's cold out 
you know, they, they come charging, they're still fast, and you really need to catch up to get a hook in them when they hit, because a lot of times they're following it, they're following it, they peck it, they finally pick it up, and they're still coming at you. And you got a real, 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 and in 40 feet of water, you got a lot of line out, making a really long cast. You really need to get the hook in them. So you saw me setting the hook, I just kept swinging, and swinging, and swinging. And if you don't do that, nine out of 10 times, when that fish gets to the surface, it's gonna jump, and that swim bait's gonna come flying out. Everybody who's been in the boat fishing this technique, the first time they come out, doesn't set the hook hard enough and as many times as you need to, and inevitably has a fish come off. And until they get the hang of that, right Nunzio? That's correct. Until they get the hang of it, it's, uh, it's a little frustrating. But when you get that down, you realize that you're not gonna break your line, you're not gonna tear the hook out, you're actually, you really got to pound on this. That's why we're throwing these heavy bait casting setups. This is a seven foot medium heavy action rod. And uh, medium, sorry, excuse me, medium heavy power rod. It's a fast action rod. St. Croix Avid. ABC 70 MHF is the uh, model number. It's a great all purpose. You can use it as a jig rod too. Uh, spinnerbait rod, it's good for spinnerbaiting, and it's, uh, you know, if you like a seven foot rod for spinnerbaiting, I do. And uh, also, um, really good for um, swim baits with a single hook on them. Let's see if we can't get another one. She whacked it. Ah, oh, I couldn't catch up. She whacked it, man. Couldn't catch up to that fish. I was reeling it in to pick it up and make another cast. And went, I mean, that fish went from 20 feet off this side of the boat almost to 10 feet off the other side of the boat before I could even get the second hook in her. She went right under the trolling motor. Aye, that's good. I just got hit. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Got a little nose hit. She's out All right. That's the nice part about a bait caster. You can swing in a high three pound small you like it's nothing. <laughs> now we're talking again, man. Same technique. Slow rolling this. Kitech swing impact, half ounce football head. Just chuck it out, let it go all the way to the bottom. Real slow on the reel. Not a good one. Not a giant, but over three pounds, easy. We'll weigh this one in a sec. Scale's all zeroed out. Don't know if you can see that. Let's get this one on here. All right, easy, easy. Made threes? Three six. Nice. That's good. Three good job. Another one, so. That was that number four, right? That's number four? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I gotta weigh that. Put it on. Lock that into the number four spot. So we're having a pretty bad day so far. Three pounder, an under three pounder, two four pounders. So if we were fishing a tournament right now, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> oh man, another one whaled it. That one whaled it. Now, what are you doing different than me? <laughs> I'm reeling. <laughs> Nothing, I'm just going slow. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. But that's awesome. And that's an astute fisherman. First thing he says, what are you doing? What are you doing different than me? Best question you could ask. If I'm not getting bit, what are you doing? If I'm getting bit, what's he doing? What's that guy over there doing? Hey, don't worry about it. That's the played down version of forget about it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fish right now, so don't worry about. 
Well, in about three feet, I plan to get one for sure, so. That's a fish, baby. Got it. Good one, too. Gotta catch up. Put it down, put it down. Oh, yeah, brother. It is a big one. <laughs> Come on, dude. I gotta get it. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> That's a nice one. Nice fit. Another good one. Man, that's a fat there now. Nice fish. Alright. Just wanna tweak that for a second. <laughs> Look at this. Good belly, eh? All right, so I was wrong. I said I was gonna get her in 30 feet from where we were. Took about 40 feet. This is running hmm. three six three. So, solid bed over here. Solid bed means run, right, Brim? Yep, she's gone. And that's going in number five. So we're we're working our way up. We got seventeen point four eight for five fish. You see that down in the corner here, uh, right over there in that corner and uh, so we're just starting to work our way through but every fish is a quality fish that's the nice thing about this time of year they're all fat they're all healthy they're stocked up you know from uh, eating all through the fall and now they're gonna be wintering over but it's a great time of year to get out if you can get out still well you know you're in the Northeast it's just awesome so we're gonna keep doing this but uh if you want to try this technique out, what you do is you get yourself some Kitec uh, swing impacts. Either 3.8, you should probably should get a couple different sizes, 3.8, 4.8, and uh, half ounce football head jigs, 15 pound or 17 pound fluorocarbon. You can even go as high as. Some people go as low as 12. Um, 15 seems to be the common. Medium heavy bait casting rod, high speed reel, high speed reel, and uh, you should be good to go. So. Another nice fish, we're gonna get back to catching them. It's all about working your bait really slow. Painfully slow. Boy, it hurts when you miss them. Got it? All right. Nice one. Nice. Still jumping in the cold water. That's a cold fish. That'll call. Let it settle. Okay, I think it's a little sun would go at three, two, four. Three, two, four. Good fish. Not as big as we're looking for, but they're getting there. Yeah. Is there no call? Another one, another one. No, that's gonna call. So what you do on the scale, the way the scale works is, okay. you come over here. This shows a three, two, four on there. We got a three, four, three, a three, six, a three, six, three. A three nine four and a four one. So you want to get rid of number four, which is the three zero six. So you go over to 
there and you press that and I watch that's going to change to 324. Now number four is the 324. Total weight 18.27. Nice. All right. Let it go. Hold that fish up for a second. Got her. Hey. Oh yeah. Here you sneaky little girl, you. <laughs> there we go. They're all heavy, that's for sure. They're squaring. That's all right. It's ain't a calling. She ain't gonna call up. Another nice two, two and a half, actually. Oh, call it low too. Solid though. They're all solid fish. What a blast! This is a rip, man. We just keep catching one after the other. Let's get back out. We get another one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get her. Get her. Man, that freaking fish. Oh, that's a hard catch. Nice fish. There you go. Told you we get a big one over here. Four point eight coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> Got a trying to reel in. Nice. Keep it down. Nice. I think we're gonna call again. Absolutely. That's why we came here. Oh, oh my god. Sweet. Oh wow. Second, let me get this camera out of here. Alright. Let me get back in. Nice. Big four point eight. Yeah, they're whacking it now. <laughs> I know I got that big hook on there. You seem to be lace into her. <laughs> she didn't have a prayer. That's what you gotta do, man. Oh yeah! She whacked it. Man, she whacked it. And you're stuck. Uh, I'm stuck and I can't move. She's stuck on the bottom, Rod. Uh, oh yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a bruiser. Alright. You know what? Since you're stuck, I'm just gonna net this. That's a four. <laughs> Break that off, come on. I don't wanna lose this line. Break it off. There's no sense, I'll give you one. You can have one of mine, all right? Whew, now you're talking. That's a bruiser, baby. Bruiser. Four, five, four, seven. Nice. Nice. And that's gonna call out uh, that last one we caught, the three, two, four. It's gonna get called out. With a four seven. So I just press this number four again. And get rid of him. And overwrite that. Four seven. And now we have nineteen eleven. Bruises. Get it back out there and get another one before it's over. It happens fast and then it's over. Beauty, beauty schmollies. Love small mouth bass. Cold, 32 degrees, 34, 35 this morning we got out here. Water temps in the high 30s, low 40s. And uh, these fish are deep. But they're biting. Nice. <clears throat> nice, come on baby. Take it. Now I got a hook in her. Little guy. Whoa. That's the smallest one I've seen over here. She don't look too happy. She don't look too good. That's the smallest fish of the day right there. Later, Junior. I had fun catching you anyway. There we go. Get her. Get her, baby. I'm gonna feel that big. I think we got small, Brent. That's okay. Fish is a fish. Man, it's gonna, gonna jump. It's gonna jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fish. She 
I haven't felt the rock in a while, and I finally felt the rock. Yeah, all the biggie. <laughs> oh my gosh, nice fish. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Let me zoom out a little bit. I want to get that up. Zoom it in. Hey, y'all. Beauty. It, it locked at 319. 319 lock. It's amazing how many fish will hold to some structure. You know, sometimes you can sit here and, you know, catch 40 or 50 fish. You know, we didn't have that kind of day today, but. We come back tomorrow in the right conditions and really put our hurting on them. Like that one! <laughs> Boy, talk about a camera for a few fish, yeah. He's funny. Oh, <laughs> she went airborne. I'm just gonna swing her in. Oh, nice one. Nice one. That's a nice one. Oh. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Awesome. Another healthy, healthy smallie. And she ate it, man. I mean, this thing's gone. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Did you eat that? There you go. Nice. That's gone. That's gone. That's what you know they like if you got on. Nope. Three, four. Three, two. <laughs> Three, two. Kept dropping. Here we go. All right, get her, get her. Mm. Now you got a hook enough. <laughs> and for safe keeping sake. <laughs> Another one coming in. She's gonna jump. Oh, it's a baby. Is it a baby? <laughs> it's a baby like two and a half. Is it, is it a rim? Yeah, it's a baby. It's a baby, it's a small fish I caught all day. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't oh think so. Oh my god, it has weight to it though. Yeah, it's a fatty, it ain't that small. Oh, <laughs> it's a three. Come on, it is. It's a three. It's a two. <laughs> it's sick of the head, it's sick of the last thing. <laughs> it's deformed. <laughs> There's nothing deformed about that big. Yeah. It's a beaut, man. It's just slobby. Come over here. I'll put her on a scale for you. And we have what do we got here? Three four three three seven. <laughs> three three seven. Let's just stick that over there for now. Just for giggles. It almost called. Almost a three right? three two. Very nice. It's a bruiser.